Hello everybody, this is Toy Zaros and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that are fangirl in the world of Transformers and let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Russ. So we've got some more images of YOLO Park figures and in fact quite a lot more to go through with you. So I'm going to start off with the YOLO Park. These images are taken from TFW 2005 via the YOLO Park website themselves. So this is, again, wave two of their Rise of the Beast model kits. We've seen these in great prototypes for ages. It's now great to see these in full color, and this is exactly what they look like. So if anybody's got these on pre-orders, I know they're shipping them right now, because I think I've got him and Scourge on the way from Show Z. I'll show you how you can order them yourself in a second. These guys are fantastic. I mean, again, just a quick reminder, they don't transform, they are fully articulate. Look at the range of motion there in his legs, but they are model kits as well, so you do get to build them up. I've obviously just had the great experience of having a go with the AMK Megatron, and these guys look just as good. The attention to detail is second to none, and they're also really, really big. This might be a bit of a negative for you, but it's like I said in the other video, they won't scale with your Studio Series figures. Uh, so obviously because they don't transform, it might be worthwhile keeping these in their robot mode. And funny enough, there you go, look, there he is with the Studio Series version of himself. So that gives you an idea of just how much bigger he is than the Voyager class. So as I say, unfortunately they won't scale, but they do look really, really good together. Right, there's the last couple of images of Yolo Park's Cheetor, and that's of course their Optimus Primal as well. Right, couple of quick sightings for you then. So Authentics Wave 6 Alpha in Australia, Legacy Evolution Wave 4 Voyager in Germany, and Transformers G.I. Joe Thunder Machine in Singapore, and Studio Series Wave 9 and Wave 23 Voyager in Taiwan. So that is basically where all new figures have been spotted. I get all this from TFW 2005. They are constantly updating it with sightings. Also on TFW 2005, if you want to check it out, They've done their top figure of last year as well. So very obviously uh, looked up to our website and it's great to see their opinions as well. So I'm not gonna spoil it for you. A couple of people did pick that, but it's worthwhile checking out. Now I've got a couple of bits of news for UK viewers. This one's the negative one. Unfortunately, Transformers 1, the new animated movie is definitely gonna be put back for release in the UK. The new release will fall on October the 11th for fans in the UK. The movies apparently, it still says, are gonna hit theaters in Europe uh, on September the 12th. So at the moment, it's just us. Whether or not the rest of the world follows suit, who knows? I don't really know why that is, to be honest. Um, but it just says, unfortunately, for UK viewers. So there we go, that is, of course, myself. Right, here's yet another amazing upgrade kit. This is for uh, Studio Series Optimus Prime from Rise of the Beast. You can see you've now got two blades, uh, again, a load more accessories. You've got a little Noah that at first I was thinking, why on earth is that there? But then of course it makes perfect sense. There you go, you can recreate the scene at the end of the movie with Noah on the roof of Optimus Prime. There's the additional blasters for the forearms. It comes with quite a few things as well. It looks like it's got some gap fillers for the feet, etc. Um, and yeah, it's another fantastic looking design upgrade kit from DNA. Okay, I've also been on Fans Hobby's Facebook page. This, I believe, is their take on a um, Armada Jetfire. Please correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't know anything about the Uni uh, Unicron trilogy. This is the colour test shots of him with uh, in robot mode, with his accessories, and a little bit of a, a size comparison guide for their take on Armada Optimus Prime. So that isn't the Hasbro one. That is Fans Hobby's version. And there he is with a little bit of attachment to him as well. So that's all from the Fans Hobbies Facebook page. Also, there's more additional images on uh, Iron Factory's Weibo page. This guy is currently in transit on the way to me as well. This is their stylized take on a Leo Kaiser drill horn figure. And again, I can't wait to be reviewing that. Then we've also got, these are really interesting. And again, it just proves that Transformers will put their name to anything. So I look at things like this because, you know, these could be ideal for my kids, whoever's people who like plush figures. These are cute, chubby G1 Optimus Prime and Megatron plush toys. They've been found at Dollar Tree stores in America um, and they're $1.25. So they're not a dollar, um, but here they are. That's what they look like. Uh, again, it just proves, as I've already said, there's the full range. You can get some Power Rangers 
and Batman as well. So there you go. Uh, that's what, exactly what they look like, though, if you're after them. So that's the full set. There's your three main characters, which they always seem to pick. Right, I've already covered this, but again, I just want to reiterate that although we found the listing, we don't know if they're all going to be redecos. I'm obviously crossing my fingers that they're not just general, genuine reissues of the original figures and we get hanged as a new one. Um, I, again, I'm, I'm on the fence. I'm not too happy with the fact that you're going to have to buy a five pack. However, if they're all the same colours as Studio Series 86, as in they've changed all the paint jobs and they've made them look a little bit better, there's no translucent windows, sunstreakers or yellow colours match, I'm more than happy to get this. I don't know enough about it. We don't know. All we know is it's a genuine listing, I think. Obviously, there's loads of speculation, but until we know exactly what we're getting, um, I haven't really got an opinion on it. I'm just the same as you guys, crossing my fingers that they're all different enough to warrant the additional purchase. Right, more sightings. What have we got here? This is the Cyber Sleeve Vast Blaster from, uh, where's this been found? Let me tell you. So this has been found at US retail. So two things, the Cyber Sleeve Blaster from EarthSpark and indeed the EarthSpark 2-in-1 Optimus Prime and trailer. They've hit the shelves in the US as well. This is something amazing. I love this. So Transformers from Skybound is now reprinting yet again issue one. This is the fourth printing version. So like I said in the, in the video the other week, in, a, in, a, in an age which we live in where it's a digital age, that's what I was trying to say. Everything's on phones, on iPads. Nothing is very much, you know, in physical hands. That's my A to Z, by the way, all in there of figures. Um, nothing's really written down anymore, apart from old school people like me, like that. Um, it's so great, and it shows the popularity of Transformers in the comics that they are printing issue one for the fourth time. And of course, to commemorate that, there is yet another different cover if you want to collect it. I'm pretty sure that's 30 odd covers, so I'm so glad I only went for the one. But again, really great for comic collectors, really great for anybody who wants something physical in their hands. Staying with Skybound, this is issue four that's coming out very soon. And indeed, there is another cover variation for issue four as well. Right, last couple of things. Good news for UK viewers this time. It's only taken, well, we're definitely a few weeks behind everybody, but I this morning, and they've put it on here as well, got my email from HasLab. That is my address correct because it's almost time to ship our Death Saurus figure. So we have got some great news at last. It looks like they're going to start shipping them soon. A bit earlier than they predicted. They were, we were told spring, um, so I'm happy either way. So can't wait to get hold of that. Last couple of things are here then. Chinese company Tong Shifu specialised in die cast statues. They've released images of their new Chinese warriors. These are Transformers copper statues. They are huge and they are, again, they, uh, Transformer characters. They've stylized them into warriors. You can tell you they are, obviously. Um, and they're not small. They are huge. There he is next you know, to a life-size person. I don't even know what else to say. That's how big they are in real life. So whether you, that, if that's something you're interested in, head over to their website right now. Okay, let's show you how we can order things from particular websites and how I get a lot of my products via the show, we web, show Z website. If you sign up, get yourself some points, pop Toys R Us, all as one word, into that reviewer code there. You can help me, um, again, review things like this. Can't wait to do this. The Kang Toys minis have been so impressive. I've moved on to the larger ones, but the gold versions just to be something completely different, which funnily enough, if you head to the sale page right now, there is figures from loads of companies, including all of these. Oh, there they are, the Kang Toys masterpiece scale size in gold. There's the Pangu Toys and the New Age versions of Omega Supreme. There's, there's the New Age Ultra Magnus. There's loads of things on sale. There's loads of things on pre-order, including the new Kang Toys Dinobots. There's the Bumblebee. There is the Doctor Wu's Metroplex. And there's so many figures. There's the missing link from, of course, Takara. There's the Yolo Park Optimus Prime. There's so much to check out, guys. Um, again, just have a look. There's things there. The only thing that's not there, I say this all the time, is Studio Series and Mainline Generations. Everything else is there. Masterpiece, Movie Masterpiece, Yolo Park, 3-0, etc. So, coming up, this guy. Um, Blaze needs to be put in a video. Um, I've just forgotten. I've got so much going on at the moment. I've got another New Age Ultra Magnus deco to do. Um, and I've got things, as I say, in the post as I'm speaking right now. So, thank you everybody for the support. Really enjoying doing this. Really loving the fact that... People seem to be loving the A to Z. It's just a six second video. You can binge watch them all. Three or four Japanese exclusives already in the first 10 days. Crazy. Loads more to come. 
all literally in here, full, full, full of names. Let's hope I keep it in the right order. But once again, guys, thanks for the support. I'll see you very soon. Take care.